Hello YouTube and welcome back to Brewing with Magic. Well, today I've got a jun for you that over here we're calling Eat, Pray, Lie. So let's get into the deck, explain to you what we're trying to do with it, and then hop into some gameplay. So first we've got our removal package in the deck. We've got two copies of Blood Chief Thirst. We've got two copies of Erebos Intervention. This is really good right now to get around things like Toski or uh, uh, any indestructibles that are just in your way that you can't get around, or you could just throw it to gain a whole bunch of life or remove their graveyard. There's a lot of things you can do with this card right now in the current meta, it's really working well. Three copies of Agonizing Remorse gets rid of those cards that you don't want to see later, such as, you know, uh, Ember Cleaves, you got Great Henges, all those kind of things, or just the, the if they're a rush deck, just their next, I, I like if I go on first, and I'm against Mono Red, I like to play it on my turn two to get rid of, say, their uh, their thief, their, their little robber, rich robber. That's what it is. We've got three copies of Heartless Act. We've got three copies of Scorching Dragonfire. And I like this one because if they have things, you know, like a Phoenix of Ash or anything like that, gone. You don't have to deal with that no more. Get out of here with that, please. Uh, we've got... Uh, Shatter Skull Smashing, which could go in this slot, but it's probably more land, and you can use it if you need to. It's got three copies of Soul Seer. Now, this card is just absolutely amazing in the current meta. It gets rid of things like Lovestruck Beasts, but even though it is expensive and does way more damage than needed, it gets rid of Toskies. So that card is absolutely just destroying people right now. Really good card. So we've got all of that right there. That's our single card removal. Then we've got a little bit of um, our draw or advantage cards. So that's going to be, you know, this card here is kind of draw. If you think of the minus uh, eight, exile all cards from all graveyards, that's card advantage later in the game. And then earlier in the game, it's going to give you a little bit of advantage in the fact that you can steal one of their creatures. It's kind of more of an advantage card than anything else in the deck. Shovel, once again, is just a really good blocker for mono against mono red or early mono white. It's got that death touch, plus you can gain life, draw cards, so that helps. Maze Mind Tome just really helps even out the deck a whole lot and kind of get you what you're needing to do there. Uh, then what we've got over here is some of your... Let's put these over here. So what we've got here is we've got some of your board sweeps. I'm sorry. you got your board sweeper here in Crippling Fear, and you've got your board sweep here in Sulfur uh, Saruf Realm Eater. So... Those are really good board wipes for you. This one, you're going to have to kill stuff to get the board wipes, and they exile. So this gets around Toskies and stuff like that also. So that's really nice that it does that. Crippling Fear, once again, I'm looking for cards to get around Toski, get around Indestructibles, anything like that that we don't want. And then this card isn't a board wipe, and it's more of a single card removal, but... Well, I just have it over here because it was too big to put in our pile over here. Come on. So, Binding of the Old Gods, two copies of that. Really good card. And then we've got our, our game winners, how we want to close the game out. I mean, Valky can kind of do it too, but not really. you got to get the cards from it or become a creature. So, there's that. But you got one copy of Croxa. You've got one copy of Clothis, God of Destiny. Try to get that down as soon as possible if you draw it. I know there's only a one-of in the deck, but if you do, there's a lot of value in that. Two copies of Plukernos, they just keep coming back over and over again unless they get exiled. They're really, really just hard to deal with, and they're a great creature. And then one Garut Cursed Huntsman, just to kind of give us a really nice top-end Planeswalker in the deck. Then we've got all kinds of land that I won't get into for you, because I think you understand how they work. Just make sure that you realize that you're always trying to at least get out, like, double blacks or double red for the Shatter School Smashing. You don't need double green in the deck ever, and use these as removal unless you have to early game throw them but for the most part you want to try to use that as removal unless you're playing like control decks then you can throw it as land but keep in mind they might end up with the planeswalker that you want to kill so just use all of the, your advantage over here to get to your cards over here win the game it's pretty simple strategy you don't have a lot of win cons so don't slam them down until you've really destroyed your opponent's side of the board and their hand it doesn't looking at the deck right away when i saw it i was like i don't see how it wins there's not but it does and it did it did rather well for me on the ladder so let's get into that gameplay but real quick before we do leave a comment down below we love hearing from you please subscribe to the channel completely free it doesn't take long at all watch click see i would have just did it there do it for us please give the video a like and i'll see you at the end for a summary let's get into it hello tartarus tartarus Opponent goes first we have a lot of land <laughs> what do we got we got a dark fort pathway a temple a castle Heartless that maze my Plukronos and Colossus. Let's keep it. Uh, we have green here, red here, black here, or oh, black and red here. So they go snow covered plains. We don't need the castle out immediately because we have black here and two more land follows. So we'll start with our temple. 
It's another temple. I think we have plenty of land for right now. We're going to draw into more no matter what happens. So let's, let's ship that. We don't want to get flooded. They throw another white. And it's a seasoned hollow blade. Well, we just drew the answer to that there. Seasoned hollow blade. So what do we, we need? We got green here. So we'll, we want red. So we'll get this out on red. And we're just going to go ahead and kill that seasoned hollow blade real quick. Discard all the cards you like, my friend. Discard all the cards you like. They have another one in their hand. The feels bads. <laughs> Hushbringer. Hushbringer. Shh. No. I don't think we worry about that. Let's start getting some value. No, I hit the green. I hit the green! I obviously didn't hit the green, and something tells me when I watch it back, I won't have hit the green. But we have green here, so we're okay. We got a lot of red. We really need to find... Let's see, where, what, what, what card are we looking for? Crippling Fear. That's what I'm looking for. Pass. Yep, hit us. And then we'll activate the Maze Mind Tome that we intentionally threw. So here's black and green, but we have black and green here, and a fifth land here. I think we have all the land we need at the moment, and land just keeps coming anyway, so let's pass on that. Let's throw this out on green, real slow-like. And... Do I want a Pelucranos here, or Kaloth Clothis? Let's start gaining life back. And let's pass a turn. Okay, there's a third land. Skyclave Apparition. Talk about timing. Talk about timing. What are you going to choose? The Clothis or the Maze Mine? Uh, okay. Neither. They just... Hello, Ch Chef. She... Chef Tony. I can't speak. <laughs> So, no green in our hand, but no green cards in our hand either. Three lands and a maze my heartless blood sheep, scorching dragon fire. I don't see a reason to not keep that. Opponent goes first, they're on green. And they're with a love struck token. We'll throw a black and pass the turn. I'm not gonna blood chief that. Everybody's playing that gruel, oh yeah. Let's see what they're cooking up for us. The white source. Okay. Planes and pass. So we're going to throw this on red because we already have a black source and throw Maze Mind Tome. Start start the uh, draw corrections. Let's see what we get. We have a Soul Seer and two heart, or Heartless Act and a Blood Chief Thirst for anything they're throwing. Of course, the Blood Chief Thirst isn't going to kill the Love Struck token or Beast. So that hits and we get smacked for one. And we scry. Hmm. Let's see. We have. Five. I have a land drop for next turn. I think I want to keep that. Okay. We never need double red. Yeah, we do for shatter. But we have a oh, man. We have a lot more black in our hand at the moment, so we'll go black. We'll need double red for this later too. And then. What do we want to do? Soul Seer or Heartless Act? I don't know why one would be better than the other here, but I don't want them Great Henging, so we're going to do it now. And let them have the turn back. We're not using the Blood Chief on uh, Token. We're going to put a stop here in case I don't hit a land with the Scry. We're going to have to do it again during our upkeep. They're going to attack us. Do they not have. What? I mean, they're Naya over here, right? What do you got in your hand, man? They're not doing anything, so we'll scry. I don't want the cloth this right now. I mean, I want the cloth this, but... And we'll scry it again. We'll take that green. Which we just so happen to have needed. 
in your face, please. Okay, so once again, they haven't done anything crazy. Let's, uh, let's throw the Crocs. Let's get rid of one of the cards in their hand. Okay, I just realized what they're going to do next turn is dragon, so I messed up a little. I could have held up this, but then I think they're going to dragon. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're going to throw the other maze mine to replace the one we're going to lose in a moment. And pass the turn. Let's see what our opponent's got. What do they got? What you got, Chef Tony? What you cooking up in the kitchen today? I'm going to put a stop here again for the same reason. I don't know if I'll need it. Naturally throwing a bone crusher. Interesting. Love that animation, man. And they throw planes down to two cards. They're passing. Well, they're going to attack. They're not just going to pass. Okay. And before the end of our turn, scry with the new maze mind. Fabled Passage. We don't want to miss a land, so we don't need to stop anymore. Oh, too late. We don't want to miss a land drop. We have red, black, black, so we need another red. So let's go ahead and crack this. Get a red. So they haven't done anything, which makes me super nervous that they have a, um, like cards they couldn't cast, such as Great Henge in their hand. So I definitely think this de this has to kill the Bone Crusher right now. We take two for it, but that's okay. We're gonna gain some life back here, but we get, we, we can't ha let them re or untap with five lands and a Bone Crusher, and also is getting us super close to the crocs so five we're at four so we're really only at three that'll be two when our turn that's two and then say we use one of these if i scry with this and i kill something with this it lights up crocs so they throw a land they're gonna swing and just pass it. okay yeah they have like three great hinges or an ember cleave an elder gargaroth that we cannot kill on this turn because this only does five so let that resolve. Shuts down our crocs the next turn because we're going to need to spend a lot of this. So, but we will go ahead and draw. Gain some life. We need to keep drawing with this to stay ahead. So we're not going to use that at all. And just take our turn. Another land. We like it. So we have double black. We have double red. I don't think it matters what we do here. Red, red, black, black. Just go slow. Uh, take your time, think things through. We'll throw it on black since we have more black cards in our hand. Um, I think we need to take a turn off from throwing any crazy threats, and we need to just blood chief thirst this. Oh, can they protect it? Oh, no. Okay, okay, they're just bouncing it. So we can kill it with the intervention next turn, right? Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna have to find another land. So we're just going to be drawing at the end of our turn, f hopefully finding a land. They're banking on that Gargaroth. Yeah, we've got that. Yeah, yeah, good. It's amazing. Let's put a stop here. Okay, okay. Come on, let's draw a card. Big money, part of the cards, land. It's a land, so we can remove that. Didn't matter. I couldn't get it in time. Oh, okay. So now we're going to throw this out. We'll, we'll get another green. It's the only thing we don't have double of. I don't think we need it, but... We're going. We're going green. Um, oh, wait, no. Then we won't have another green to get with this later. So that doesn't make sense. So we'll go black. And then we will... See if they've got it. they got another bouncer. They had another shepherd. They had another shepherd. Okay. I mean, we still have a way to kill one, one, two, three, four, five, six. We drew, yeah, yeah. So they can keep bouncing it all they want. There it is again. We're gonna, oops, wait, 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 cancel. Let's wait till the end of our turn. We're gonna attack us for one. Two cards left in their hand. Let's draw a card. Heartless Act. Nice. 
Uh, take your turn. Okay. Grab our green. Let's see if they've got it again. Uh, you know what? Let's make sure it taps a green. Can you bounce again? We killed it! We killed it! <laughs> we killed it! Roxa, come on out and play with us. Woo! Man. The never-ending friggin' Elder Gargareth. And we'll pass the turn. We're not going to be scrying with this because we want the draw. We have huge removal in our hand. Two Soul Seers and an Erebos Intervention is pretty good. A crack in a Fabled Passage. Probably grab another red because this is probably Embercleave. I'm guessing that or it's Fabled Bat, uh, or it's the Great Henge. Giant killer! No! I mean, we get it back, but that's not for a minute. That's okay. They're gonna start throwing all their, their deeds. Throw the dorks. Yep. Shepherd it up. I'd love to see a Shatter Skull smashing, or I don't even know at this point. <laughs> We're just going to start killing stuff till we get to this Crocs. Yep. <laughs> Throw this out on black. Let's draw a card. Bye bye Maze Mind Tome. Pelucranos is coming out to play. Let's get rid of the giant killer so that they can't tap our creatures. Let's see what that draw is. I don't want to know. Be a land. <laughs> yes! It was a land. We're going to draw so many cards, or gain so much life with this. Oh! So we'll name Zombie. Zombie! 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 Okay, I think I dated myself. Ignore that last part, please. Just enjoy the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, one more card in the graveyard, I believe, and Crocs comes out. <laughs> Good game! Got him! What's up, opponent? I don't know exactly what you're representing there. So, uh, what do we got? Penalty goes first, but we have three lands. We can get all of our lands, our colors. We have a Blood Chief, a Heartless, a Valky, and a Realm Eater. Let's keep it. Probably lead off on the castle on black. That way this can be red and this can be green. I'll seed of life's bounty, of course. We're gonna do with what we said. Hopefully they have to spend two mana to throw a creature. And that way we can get around that I'll seed of life's bounty. The Luminarch, that's good for us. Okay. So we need this on green and that'll be red. That's more red, so we need this. Throw this out on the green. And we have to Blood Chief Thirst. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Heartless Act. Heartless Act. That. Yeah. I thought they put the count. I wasn't even. I was like, why would you put the counter there? You want to protect the Alcide? Just one extra damage. Okay. A Maul. Okay. That's not a bad card. Not gonna lie. So, what can they do to us this next turn? Not sure. I think what we want to do here, we're not going to get to Valky. This part of the problem. Um, I need another black, but eventually I might need double red. So, yeah, okay, okay. So, I don't think they're ever getting to. We're never getting to that against Mono White. There are three lands in their hand. What? Okay, that's red. Okay, so we throw this on black. And we'll just blood cheap thirst this. Uh, uh, what just happened? What just happened? Oh, that was bad for us. Okay, interesting. I... What'd they draw? They gained some life. Okay, that's going to be good in a minute. We got to get this out on red then. But we don't need to do that now. So let's Temple of Malady. We'll leave... We need that to get the other red. And let's get this creature out here so that everything we kill in the future just, like, rips their board apart. 
And we get we can't let them back into this. This I think really helps things out because if they should throw one and or two creatures, I mean I can start wiping their board over and over again. I don't care about my Valky anymore. It's another land. They can start making one ones. Don't know if they needed to do it right this second, but that's okay. Uh one maze mine tome. Swing with both. We don't care if they kill the one one. We that's fine with us. They take three and we token up. We counter up. There we go. So let's thin the deck. Let's go get another red source. And we'll pass the turn and we'll draw at the end of turn. We don't want to scry with this ever again because we want to stay ahead on the advantage on cards. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Draw a card. I don't know if they know how the soul the, the eater works. Well, we will take that action. Oh, crippling fear. So we need this on red to to activate our uh, shatter school smashing if ever need be. We swing in for three. And the turn. We gotta start getting them. We had it locked up with that. Realm Eater. Taking out white since I made this deck. We got Power Dragon. Oh, Snapple! Is this really a Power Dragon? How fun! Okay, we go first. We can't do anything right away. It's a mulligan. Keep this. It's not great. Um, mm, we can't do Crippling Fear for quite a while. So we'll start with the castle because it comes out tap no matter what. And we'll go into the green and let's see what they've got in their hand. You get the elf, land of war, this elf, this elf, that elf, another elf. Now I really wish I'd have kept the other card. Let's get rid of one of the elves. Oh, I wish I'd have kept the crippling fear. <laughs> Skimfar. Hello, crippling fear. Let's throw a shovel down. And unfortunately, this has to go down. Throw another green. And we're visionary. That's what I'd have done. We're gonna swing. We gotta take the block. We gotta take the block. That's disappointing. So they can't get by our 3-3 three, three, and there's nothing else they can do. This could do some work for a few turns, but I'm gonna put this out. That's gonna really shut them down. And then if we hit another black source with crippling fear, that's gonna put this guy pretty big. So that's our goal at the moment. Okay, we really, really, really need a black source. Holy guacamole. So we're going to call Wolf. Got it. One, two. Nice. Here we go. They throw anything with two drops or lower and they can't kill this. See, Elvish Warmaster. Okay. Um. No, because if they have if they have Heartless Act, they kill this. So I'm going to decline, and I'm going to Soul Seer that, and I hope that's the correct answer. Heartless Act is even better because Soul Seer kills. I don't know. Is there a way that they're going to get tokens, and that's going to punish me? I'm going to hold up the souls here in case they throw another Toski. That's what the play is. Okay. Okay. Nice. We're swinging. They're going to block. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they? Knowing that next turn we could 
do some crazy stuff. Okay, so another land. Here comes the visionary. Yep, yep. Okay, well, I don't want to take the action, but we're going to because they are too big now. Now we can throw the cloth this. Start gaining some life back. Okay, Harold unites the elves. It is. That is a scary one. Only brings back elves, so that's. Oh, wow. Timing. Timing. Let's hit him for two. Gain two. Let's Blood Chief, because that holds up the Soul Seer once again for a Toski. Boom. Shoots that. Makes this bigger. None of their elves are going to be out to get the plus one, plus one. And I'm going to hold up the Soul Seer, because we're representing lethal right now. With the, the trigger from this, plus the Soul... Oh, God. We held up the Soul Seer. Lanaware Visionary. We're fine with that. They're out of cards. We kill the Toski. We're still gonna... We can't wipe the board for enough, so that's fine. We'll do... Good game, and if you're the real Power Dragon, what an honor to have played you. You're an amazing content creator. I hope it was you. How fun. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up Eat, Pray, Lie. What a fun deck. It's very controlly. Uh, it was doing very well in the ladder, in my opinion, so that's not bad ever. What would I do to change the deck? So, for the most part, it felt like we were really in control most of the games that we were winning, and if anything, we lost maybe the Shuffler more often than not, which is just going to happen. You can't really fix the deck for that. What are you going to do? Um, <laughs> one thing I would like to do is have a little bit more options with Binding of the Old Gods as far as getting lands to fix... Um, getting to double black or getting to double red just in case there is a time where I couldn't do that and there were times where I felt like I couldn't so um, I, I would add one of the Indintra Triome so black green white we don't need the white but it goes and gets us a black and then we you know we'll get rid of the a temple of malady I think in replace of that since those are the same colors still leaves us three temples that's fine and then this one is green blue red we don't need the blue but once again it, we can search for the green for the forest through the binding and then we can get another red if we need it and so for that i, I think that the deck is really heavy in um swamps and whatnot uh really he heavy on black i mean so we want to keep the swamps in and we already replaced one so we'll just take out one forest throw in the triome i don't think it's going to slow down the deck too much so those are the main changes i would do the meta seems really fast right now and creature heavy. You are going to run across, you know, Sultai Ultimatum decks and other control decks, of course. But for the most part, extremely fast creature decks. So the only other changes I would do is if the, if the meta slowed down at all. So for, for, not right now, but if the meta slowed down at all, you could take out, uh, you know, a Heartless Act, a Scorching Dragon Fire, and then depending on what's going on in the meta, you may a Soul Seer, maybe three those three cards, one of each, something like that. And we can add in other cards like another Binding the Old Gods, maybe another Croxa, another Clothis, uh, a fourth Maze Mine, a second God of Lies. It just depends on where the meta is at at the moment. So if you do keep running this deck for a while, I just wanted to mention that so that you kind of know what you need to do to keep up with the meta or slow down with the meta. If it slows down, I should say, as opposed to keep up. We're already keeping up. So th that's what I would do in the future if the meta changes as well. So do me a favor. It's completely free. It means a whole lot to us over here. Give us a subscribe. Give us a like. Put a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this deck. And as always, until next time, have a blast in the arena.